Hello, everyone, and well, welcome to Welcome to Kowloon. A little bit of an awkward title for my intro, but I always appreciate a little jolt in the menu screen. I was not expecting that. It's always been a trope in horror to emphasize the isolation of the protagonist, or in the case of gaming, the player. The idea that you can encounter something that so few eyes have seen that's totally unknown to human experience, and more importantly, that no one will hear you scream and come to your aid when you get into danger. This is going for exactly the opposite. See, this, as the title implies, takes place in the Chinese city of Kowloon, one of the densest places in the world in terms of population. Now, you might think that's the exact opposite of a premise for a horror story. Look at it this way. When you have this level of crime and poverty that comes with this density, you also lose that sense of community. It's a deeply impersonal feeling being in that type of environment, and it brings with it this sense of indifference where... I just keep thinking, what's worse? Screaming and having no one hear you? Or having tons of people hear you and no one doing anything to help? Now, this game seems to be a collaboration by several indie horror creators. However, one of them I do have previous experience with. That's uh, the creator of From the Darkness and Nine Child Street. So I'm really excited to see what this brings. Kowloon Walled City. 1999. Beneath the misty skies of China lay Kowloon, the most populous city where poverty and gang violence flourish. However, for a young student, the first and immediate desire is to find cheap housing. Yeah, I can relate. What awaits him inside the walls? Oh, wow. Well, here we are. And look at this. These graphics are absolutely gorgeous. This is like almost photorealistic. And it's running pretty well, too. Oh, but look, we've got the dim lighting reflecting off of the water pooling on the ground. I can hear the sound of rats squeaking in the walls. These aren't good accommodations, but I guess they're all we've got. Now, I really like how they've taken the time to set us up as a student who's moving into here for the first time. Thus allowing us to, I guess, relate on that level to the discomfort we have coming in and being like, is this really going to be our life from now on? Now, can we try these doors? No. Oh, look at this. It's almost like, look, there's like a ceiling above us, but I can't tell inside from out. It's all just so closed in. I don't know the difference between an alleyway and a hallway here. Uh, there's space back here, but we can't get through. It's it's gross. I feel like I don't want to touch anything, but I just can't stop thinking about how beautiful this game looks. Oh, we can interact with this door. I think it's so cool how the discomfort of being in a new place, out of our element, presumably for the first time, is so felt. I rented a room in an apartment on the fourth floor. Like, already we've got that I-need-an-adult vibe. And then you realize, oh wait, I am an adult. Okay, well this is not the fourth floor, but maybe we should be having a look around. 
I don't know if there's going to be anything in the way of, like, collectibles. Looks like a small back room. Oh, please don't start talking to me about the back rooms. I uh, can't look at these documents. But maybe it'll be helpful to learn our way around? As if that's even a possibility. I think I may also... Hang on, I might increase the volume. Volume is already quite high. Oh, uh, doggy. Hi, doggy. Uh, it doesn't seem like we can crouch. Alright. Too bad about the dog. He must be hungry. Wait, I wonder if we can maybe get something for him then? Alright, let's explore. Let's do this. Oh. Ew, what a smell. The trash is just piling up. This door is just boarded up in the most haphazard way possible. Is this the fourth floor? Oh my god, this is... Seeing all these boarded doors is about the time I would probably start reconsidering my life choices. Like, is this really worth it? I thought this would be a room, but nope, just another hallway. Who needs the Chinese back rooms? We've created them right here. What is this? It's just like a collapsed like ceiling or something with a fridge and all kinds of garbage against it. Okay, I guess we're just not using that hallway anymore. God, can you imagine a fire in a place like this? Uh, hang on. I, I left. I put the key in the store. It's outside by the entrance. Okay, uh, maybe that's what we saw downstairs. Okay, so I can travel back and forth as I desire. It's kind of empty out there. Hmm. <laughs> this is so weird. We haven't encountered a single soul aside from the dog. But every once in a while we can hear conversation from behind several walls. Here we go. This appears to be the store the landlady wrote about. Key should be around here somewhere. Right, well, of course we're gonna take that dog food. Uh, and where? Okay, where would we look for a key? Perhaps here behind the creeping door. Okay, now sweet seven seven six really scarred something in my soul. I think. <laughs> Can't we just sleep here? I mean, it looks so much nicer than what's upstairs. You really expected me to just go grab this? Alright, let's get back up there, feed the dog along the way. There was a loud noise and that music just suddenly stopped. And now I can't hear any sounds of conversation. What? <sighs> you know, everything about this place is making me feel like I'm playing infra and I need to pull out my camera and take a picture. That's like an obsessive compulsive need that I'm just going to have going into every game now. Alright, hello oh, pupper, come on, let's give you some food. There you go, love for animals, feed the dog. I figured there'd be an achievement for something like that. Alright, good, but... Okay, the staircase has come down with a bad case of barricaded. Now what? Let's scoot past the pooch. Uh, nothing that way. I guess we're taking the other way around now. Ah, uh, yes. The alternative stairwell. Straight up into the Twilight Zone. Hmm. 
Well, now we're in... Oh, wow, there is so much we can actually open up. And I'm not quite sure to what extent I'll have to learn this, but this way it's barricaded as well, so we're going to have to find another staircase. Oh, no, I think maybe this is the fourth floor. There's our apartment. Hang on. Okay, I can hear, like, muffled groaning beyond there. I'm really not eager to meet the neighbors. This feels like that one episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog, where he got sent on errands in the big city, and he had to go into that one apartment where behind every door were unique horrors. It, it just, it feels so dirty and alone and uncomfortable. It definitely establishes a mood. But come on. These door mechanics are actually a little awkward. I think when I... I think when I click, it just gives it a push. It's not actually an open-close switch. This is a bit of a bizarre setup. Uh, rest in peace, old people in China, I guess. Oh, look, we've got a swarm of moths buzzing around the lights. I mean, actually not... Considering this place is said to be cheap, it's actually fairly spacious. And uh, then again, I'm not sure if we have any roommates. I'm guessing this is the landlady. The landlady lives in the apartment. Or, uh, I guess the landlady isn't the owner of the building, just, like, the owner of this unit. And she's, like, renting to me? Yeah, this is my room. I'll start by leaving my stuff on the bed. I mean, without the moths, this room isn't half bad. I mean, this is like my preferred size for a sleeping area. I do like having just my little shoebox. What's in the back here? We get a closet. I can't wait for a hot cup of tea. Can we push this open? We just can't open this at all. I guess let's put some tea on. Um, every time I pass through them, I can, like, feel their little wings fluttering across my face. It's awful. Uh, this is our kitchen. Well, at least we have a nice view, sort of. There we go. And let's, uh, keep... Let's keep our eyes up while we do this, because it's a horror game asking us to wait in an enclosed space momentarily. Did I just hear somebody come in? <laughs> I actually get an achievement for finishing the tea instead of immediately investigating. I think it's time to go to my room. No, you didn't hear what sounded like a door latching? Somebody's in my closet. Also... I just had a little bit of a heart skip moment when it looked like there was just a really tall man standing in my closet looking at me. Let's... Ooh, a note. Did somebody just leave this? I'm scared. I want to go home. The old woman's gone crazy. I haven't even been able to go outside for a long time. The old woman? Do you mean the landlord? What a load of crap. But it's worth checking the front door just in case. What what will checking the front door do? She has a key, presumably. And that's a padlock. That is a padlock. So I guess this really is our life now. Looks like the landlady has already come home and locked up the apartment. Wait, you were expecting this? Is this the norm? Like, this isn't throwing up every single possible red flag for you? Just getting locked in your apartment in this way? The thing doesn't just have a simple latch or deadbolt on it? I 
hear you moving around back there. Oh, you slid a note under the door. Don't you dare go out at night. You know, actually, in a place like this, I don't even consider that bad advice. I need to find a way out. You know, the second I start coming around to her point of view, you start looking for an exit. We really can't go to sleep, because that's... I feel like any attempt at escape can wait until daytime. That sounded like a police scanner. I mean, it was the radio, but that's... that was what it sounded like. I'm just so confused. Oh, you... have cracked the door a bit. My landlady, what a ominous red glow you have. And it looks like she's in the exotic meats business. Oh, is she taking a shower in the other room? Well, it's not my place to snoop. Uh, maybe we should, I don't know, just go to bed and talk it out in the morning? And pretend we didn't see this? Or just intrude, the worst possible thing we could do in this moment. Nope. Oh no, the water stopped. The water stopped. Go, 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 go. Unlock the key doesn't fit. What do you mean the key doesn't fit? Where does it go then? Forget this. Forget this. The balcony. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Was that the landlady? Okay, I was not I was not prepared to see that. It was even on the it was even in the menu screen, but I was not The way her jaw just like unhinged those beady eyes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Need to mentally change gears. We are in We are in it now. It's just so dark. The darks are so dark. And now I can't see down there at all. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Then again, maybe that's not the best thing for us. This lady is an expert at moving around whole corpses very quickly. Uh, and so, okay, what do we do with this? I was thinking maybe there's like something behind the mirror, but... So the key doesn't fit. I think we have to go for the balcony. Ah! My character is just kind of meandering from one scare to the next, not really doing anything that makes sense. I'm kind of hoping we're going for the it's all a dream angle. Everything we just went through. The note is still there, though. And we're trapped. We are trapped, and there's a giant staring at me from the closet. Why would you put your pillow here? I'm just imagining you'd be staring at that at the foot of your bed all night, every night. This room does act as a nice safety bubble, but how good is that in a situation like this? This note is the same. What do I do? Wait for you to let me out, I guess. God, it is near pitch black, but hey, at least you sprayed some raid. Got rid of the moth problem, so that's good. I'm so aware of the darkness around me. Uh, this really was worked on by the creator of From the Darkness really expected something to be right there. Okay, yes, this is what I was hoping for. The balcony is shared.
we're going to be dealing with just more of the same, aren't we? <laughs> Come on, open up. God, I'm sorry. This game is so dark and there's no brightness setting. Things have been weird in town lately. I feel like I'm in danger here. I have to finish the renovations and move out soon. <laughs> So, are weird things going on here in general? Why are we hanging our clothes up like that? Nope. You know what? Fine. Slam the door in my face. It's just less area I have to search. Just less opportunities for jump scares. Totally fine by me. I actually want a linear path out of here. There's a padlock here, but we've got no key! It's really not for me to answer the door. Like, it's not even my place. That's just rude. Also, the door is boarded, so... Couldn't help you even if I wanted. Oh, but there's got to be something around. <laughs> Maybe in the fridge, which has been helpfully left open. No. You're letting all the you're letting all the warm air in. Let's just run back and forth. That's always served me for having doors open. Yeah. See, there we go. When in doubt, all you have to do is walk back and forth a few times, and the jump scare gods will present you with something. There we go. Look at that portrait. Just a hunched man stalking through the shadows. Would be a real bad time to turn around! <laughs> uh, for once, I finally called it, and something was actually there, actually. It looks just like the man in the portrait. You're not what was there before. Before it was pants, you're a corpse. Although I don't appreciate how the lights dimmed as I got close. Uh, there we go. I really don't appreciate it when lights dim as I do something. It makes me feel like that's a trigger. Oh, a flashlight! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! This is what we needed. Oh, look at this. That is so cool! So our flashlight free floats around in our hand, and our view only turns when it's pushed to the side. That is actually really awesome. When we can feel like various subparts of our body, it does wonders for immersion. But this darkness is really realistically done, and I'm really afraid it's not going to look good on recording. It's perfect for me, but I'm going to have to really mess with this in post. Oh, great. Hide and seek in the storage closet. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, this was somebody else's room. Nobody really looks like they want to be there. No key, which means we have to turn around and walk right back through all of this. Is that right? Oh, wait, unless... Yeah, there was something scribbled back here. Something starting with a D. But what does that tell us? <laughs> this game builds a vibe, I'll give it that. Please tell me the keys on the bathroom sink. <laughs> Look at that grin. 
it's like the one thing that just shines through the blotchiness of this old image. D, wait, D, C. The paintings are the key. It spells something out. I think there might be a gap also between the D and the C. One thing, though, is that it does make it kind of difficult to latch onto a door, the, ma the flashlight mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gee! Why'd you do that? Why? So D something, C something, what? Decoy, maybe? Ah, oh, the bugs are back. There's got to be something here. Anything in this room? <laughs> Maybe this is all because of a gas leak. Have you thought of that? I mean, these pipes are just leaking all over the place. What do we do? There was another one over here. There's one here as well. Oh, look, we've got the... We've got the source of light casting multiple shadows. And the two-faced interloper from the side. Nope, it's decay. The word will be decay. I'd like to guess the puzzle. <laughs> oh, look at these faces. I decay, my BFF chill. Let's work this out. And I did notice that the corpse on the ceiling is gone. Unseen. No, very much seen. These things can't stop being seen. <laughs> being forced to, like, maneuver through those narrow things with a flashlight moving left to right, it is really, really cool. But is there somewhere I'm supposed to... Oh, I see. This is a... Yeah, all right. Here we go. What awaits us on the other side? Man, this game really did not waste any time in getting started. Just a room with a stool and some trash bags. And a crowbar. It's not a skate, but I guess it brings us closer. Do we want to maybe start wielding that at all times? It's just, having this much control over the light, it really adds a sense of anticipation to every corner, doesn't it? Because you kind of have to follow your view around the corners. Get off you. Get off. Get off. Oh, come on, one more. And we're out. This whole place has gotten darker. Something was messing with us from the very moment we arrived. And now in this, like, city of rooms. Like, what difference is there between this and the back rooms? Are those reflections or are they a pair of eyes staring at me from the darkness? I honestly can't even tell. They are reflections, but just think. Ostensibly, behind each of these doors is one or more people. And yet we feel utterly alone. Come on. <laughs> Do you want me to mess around with the fuses? Because otherwise I don't know why I'd be able to access this area. Where am I even going? Just gotta keep holding down W, but the longer we go without a scare, 
the, the more it feels like something's going to happen. This really does feel like watching like GoPro found footage or something. It's not... Gotta run! Yes, we do! Go, 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 go! Oh, right or left, right or left, right, 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 right! Nope, left, 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 left! I can't see a thing. I can't see anything. Go, go, go! Okay, I guess we're good now. There's no way out, code five. If you could stop shaking for just a moment, code five, nine, one, three. Yay! Okay, that's the interface's fault. That's not my character. You can't just zoom in like that and then how would I not notice? Uh, but it seems like the landlady's not the only problem here. Did I lose? Is it because I tried to go back from where we were just running from someone? Oh, no, I guess... I guess we're all right. Please tell me we still have our flashlight, even if we don't need it here. <laughs> For a moment, I almost thought maybe there's going to be daylight pouring through, but nope, just the light from the windows above. But we seem to be back in some sense of relative normalcy. Five, nine, one, three. We should keep that in mind. Look at this. Look at this architecture. I'm not going back there. Were we ever there to begin with? This game is, like, bizarre in its tone. I mean, it's got gorgeous environments and atmosphere. It's such a unique vibe, and it's executed so well. The jump scares are amazing, but I feel like the story, like, it's it's all over the place. So, now I'm out on the street. I have to find a way out of town, but as before, you know, with the unique setting, there's almost no difference between the town and the regular hallways. It's just got such an overwhelming sense of architectural hostility to it, even before the hauntings. Or gas-induced hallucinations. I'm honestly considering all my options at this point, but that's what I'm most leaning into. And here's the way out. But I need to find something to cut the chains with. You're gonna need something really heavy duty for that. Look at how thick that is. Alright, so I guess we're probably gonna be looking for like a... Like a pair of bolt cutters or something? Okay, so we do still have our flashlight in our possession. That's the good news. But we can't get through here. You really can't just push that aside. This was not always this way. This was not always this way, and now we are well and truly trapped. Well, unless we go your way. Oh, look at these narrow stairways. This is something that not a lot of games have done but it's very very important I think in horror like these cramped spaces it's truly claustrophobic in a way that not a lot of games pull off because they want room for your character controller to be able to move about uh, but here they just gave us a skinny character controller so that we can feel enclosed so that we can feel the density it's actually making the most of its setting for horror and not just having it as dressing. The elevator doesn't work. 
the generator's out of gas and the starter lever lever's broken. So you're telling me that in order to cut those chains, we've got to start the elevator? We need a lever and gasoline. God. It's just, we're really Russian nesting dolling our objectives now, and that is the worst thing that can happen to you as a horror protagonist. I know you're out there. And the worst part is we're walking around in darkness, but we can see lights on in all these windows. It's like I said before, we do get the impression that there may be other people around, and they're just turning a blind eye. It doesn't feel like the situation has gotten so bad that everyone's out for themselves and trying to survive. It's like nobody else even acknowledges what's happening. Okay, I don't think this was open before. <sighs> Look at this, the brick walls, the water on the ground. It's like being in a sewer. But nope, this is just home. Oh, we can get around to here now, and there's another note. Sadly, we can't seem to answer the phone a bit late. Let me show you something. Look under the rock by the swing set. <laughs> you know, I do always appreciate a silent jump scare. The kind that just allows itself to happen without the need to punctuate itself with a scare cord. Under the rock by the swing set. Alright, where's that? Alright, you're gonna have to help me out here because getting the cursor to touch something in particular is actually really challenging in this. Oh, right there. Haha, -ha. now into the red, red refrigerator. I get the impression we're being toyed with. Okay, will that be back where we, where we came from? This is all just a means to steer us into the various triggers, I'm aware. I hope it's pizza, but I don't think it will be. I distinctly hear breathing behind me. Did you see that pink cloth in the yard? Don't you want to see what's behind it? Alright guys, let's play Anticipate the Jump Scare when we turn around. <laughs> I expected a jump scare, I didn't expect that, but... <sighs> You've actually been showing a surprising amount of restraint with your jump scares. They were very in-your-face in the beginning, but I, I was caught off guard by just how suddenly we were starting on them and, well, by the nature of the threat not being what I expected. Howdy. Are you the one that's been leaving the notes? It's weird, though. It just seems to always know just what type of scare to go for in a given moment. Well, let's see what's behind door number three. I appreciate the invite to your hideout. Good taste in decor. It's a beautiful hideout, isn't it? I was hiding here from all the horror that started happening in my family, and indeed in the whole city. It's good that there's not a single living soul left in Kowloon. Not a single living soul left in Kowloon. This coin will be useful to you. Useful to me how? Now, there's a thought. Being isolated in... what's supposed to be the most dense place on Earth. And yet it still simultaneously does and doesn't feel like it. Alright, so where do we use this coin then? Nope. Stop turning out the lights on me. I guess we're going down this way.
All the ambiance just suddenly cut out on me. There's someone standing at the end. And we can't even... Exit. <laughs> See, the funny thing about the darkness here is that, for all I know, you've just taken a step to the side. You haven't even disappeared. Actually, it seems like that's exactly what you did. It feels a lot like chase music. Certainly a rising malevolence that I'm feeling. It's bad. My little girl ran away from home. I don't know what's wrong with her. My wife hasn't come out of the bathtub in three days. Everyone around me is crazy. I don't know what to do. This gas from the pipes. I never noticed it before. I think it's all his fault. Help. Who's he? But also more importantly, someone else is acknowledging the gas from the pipes. We were exposed like from the moment we stepped in here. It's entirely possible everybody else is in their own horror story in their own mind right now. Uh, watch your head and stop it flashlight. The flashing lights and jump scares warning is going to be very, very necessary here. Oh, this is so cool. Like, this architecture is just so unique. It's so janky, but I imagine stuff like this actually exists, right? And with this flashlight mechanic, it's not just more immersive. It allows you to take in these environments piece by piece. Everywhere you look, you discover just more and more how... Well, it's almost like they turned like those little set-up, like, pop-up kids' playhouses into a whole city. They want to evict us from our neighborhood. The government is hiding the fact that we're dying here. Here's a canister of gasoline. Okay, well we've got that now, but we still need a lever if we want to get this elevator working. <laughs> okay, I'll go a different way. Now we've got to make our way back down the stairs. And look at the way the shadows cast around the edges. It's just every little thing about this... It, it really gets the subtleties of being in an environment like this, and I think that's what makes it feel so much like you're here. Uh, which is what makes it so uniquely uncomfortable. Come on now. These doors are so awkward. Got to make our way back to that engine room. Yeah, yeah. Do we really want to go out there if somebody's pushing on it? So now you're gassed up. We just need a lever. It's actually, now I'm thinking about it, it's also a great environment for a game developer. Because you can always stash your triggers around and not have it feel obvious that a given area has a trigger. I mean, I always get suspicious of being forced down a long corridor, but everything is a long, dark corridor in this place. Oh, the lever is in the vending machine! Yeah, I came over here because I figured the coin would be useful here. There we are. I really wish I remembered that code from before. I'm wagering it'll still be important. How do we even know we have to start the elevator? Like, we've really been going to a lot of trouble to make this happen. What makes us think there'll be something to cut the chains there? There we go. Engine started. Probably! poisoning us with all kinds of other stuff while we're at it. I mean, does it really make sense for a gas-burning engine to be indoors like this? Alright, you 
come here. Come to my floor. Do you really trust any of the engineering in a place like this? Paying extra attention to the emergency hatches. Well, I suppose it is somewhat of a relief to see the night sky. Look, we can wave our flashlight around, perhaps signal to someone that we're in distress. That note said we're the last ones in the city, but I really do think there's something else going on here. And there is our bolt cutters. Thank you. Man, if I were in this situation, there's no way I would be heading back down there. 100%. I am staying here and waiting to die of dehydration. Uh, which might take a little while. These cans and bottles still look unopened. And listen, we've even got some tunes and a place to sleep. But I guess that's the point of an area like this. Give us a brief respite. And as much as we don't want to, we're the ones that have to go right back down into the nightmare. I mean, with these flashlight mechanics, combined with these tight environments, you're just always anticipating a scare, and it's being done through your own movements rather than just what the game itself sets up. And the game itself sets up plenty. You see that? You see how we rounded the corner, but it took an extra moment for our light to land on you? Are we going to be friends because I helped you earlier? It doesn't seem like I can actually interact with you, but I do not like the way you're looking at me. You are cute, though. Well, you can come with me if you want. No, you're gonna stay behind? You're... you're cool about the whole thing? Well, to each their own. Pretty sure I just saw somebody duck around a corner up there, on the right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you weren't ducking around a corner, you just... Look at your rib cage. I'm just... Scooch on by. They're all, like, kneeling in prayer. But prayer to what? They're not hostile, but they are staring at me. Clearly I'm the odd one out. It actually feels like this place has calmed down a bit and, like, now it's waiting for something. Were we ever really here at all?
Recently, there have been many reports to the police from people who have been known who have been to Kowloon. They say they've seen a city that doesn't exist. Kowloon Walled City, demolished five years ago, was one of the worst cities in China. Shortly before demolition, it had experienced a spike in crime and unwarranted murders. Many believe that the government was willing to go to terrible lengths to demolish Kowloon. Hi! <laughs> Exit. There's not really too much to it, but it's just... It's showing a perspective that we don't ordinarily see. I always do appreciate horror going into different environments and cultures that like we don't normally get to experience and being able to I guess delve into the unique scenarios that those settings allow for. Now in this case it's combining the unique setting of essentially a city within a building with all these like cramped highly detailed really jank architectural ideas and giving us a flashlight mechanic that even though even though the environment in front of us is often very cramped, we still have an incompleteness of information where we really have to scan everything that's in front of us in order to get the full picture. It started us off with some truly heart-stopping jump scares that start very abruptly coming seemingly out of nowhere when it felt like this was a game that could have had a lot of build-up, and I was gonna criticize it on that front. But now that I've got the whole picture, I have to say I do have some level of appreciation for how you literally just get in and get settled after taking everything in and then it picks you up and tosses you in at the deep end by having you round a corner and meet like the most horrifying image you've ever seen in the form of the landlady model like it's not only a loud noise it's so abrupt and so outside the realm of what you thought could happen that it just kills you dead right there, and she's actually like the scariest looking thing ever. That mouth agape, you can see the rows of teeth and the wide eyes. Most of the other jump scares were actually really subtle. Things moving around corners in the dark as your flashlight passes over them, just never really getting a good look at almost any of them. Things subtly changing in the dark. It makes me realize that that first scare was very much just, it, it wants you to expect a slow burn, I think, with its intro, and then it just tosses a bucket of water in your face, and I, I actually really like that. Now I was really caught off guard by that twist at the end there, finding out that this place that we were dreading becoming our new home, this place that we had very quickly come to associate with squalor and decrepitude, was actually just a memory of some place that once existed, that was once that for others, but shouldn't even have the chance to be that for us. And I don't know, it really felt like they were doing something with the whole, with the whole exposure to gas causing hallucinations maybe. But then it just sort of drops that in favor of the twist, and now I don't know what to think. So I'd really like to see what you have to say about that in the comments below. So maybe in that way, it's really a story about this place that was so many things to so many people, and now finding itself non-existent, wanting its story to be told. I'm really going to have to read up more about this place, because it's a topic I really know nothing about, and well, now I'm really curious. At $7, I felt like it was a bit pricey for the pretty much exactly an hour it took me to complete it. But I will say that it's at least very clear that a lot of effort went into this. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.